what's up electric all wheel so uh my friend adam let me borrow his rad rover and he was one of the first iterations for the electric all wheel do battery discharge balancer kit for the rad setup especially those that were over the 20 amp current limit on the controller so this rad has one of the first setups that we ever did and he let us test it. So what I'm gonna do is reverse his hookup, install the kit, show you how to hook it up on a rad rover. And this isn't the six, this is predates the six, this is the five, rad rover five. And we'll run that through, I'll show you that. He already has the battery, so let's check it out. He has the infamous high long battery that we've been using in all of the videos so the electric dual battery hemiway magicycle rad rad mission all the bikes that we've actually done this for so i'm pretty excited he's been very supportive so i wanted to get him into a 40 amp dual battery discharge balancer and then make sure that he was set up for the future and so that it matched everything that we've got going on from here on out so here we go so he's got his extension cable zip tied in. What I'm gonna do is just go ahead and clip those. I have some replacements, so we'll be fine there. He does have the electric all wheel XT60 male to female in, so that's good. We're already set up with that. We'll go ahead and take those out. And then already we are down into the nitty gritty. And that's right here where all of the wiring comes into the bottom of the controller. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that. Perfect. So what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and turn it back to factory just so everybody can see. There we go. That's in. So now that we're on factory. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this battery on. And we're on. And that is on the factory battery setup. We are in, this is the connection. And then these are your two cable ends for your XT60 extensions. And these are custom for RAD. So these are the male female ends for the RAD custom hookup for battery cable into your controller and we're going to go ahead and unplug these and then do the reverse setup and then go ahead and get him set up with a 40 amp dual battery discharge balancer you're looking for the equivalent of these ends here where the cabling wraps right underneath the frame and that we know now is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that. So you can see the ends here and then this one here. And then I went ahead and left his electric all wheel XT60 extensions, which you see here. And these will run into his battery bag that he's already got up top. And he decided to do a rack battery bag over the top of the rear rack with his saddlebag in conjunction with all that storage space. So I'm going to take our female plug in, which is actually your male in, and we're going to sift it down. We're going to go ahead and route it through the frame. And this is both plugs, so we're going to bring them both down bring them down in through near the bottom bracket and now i have the female end which this female end looks like the male end but it's actually not so we're going to go ahead and push the controller connector through bring this up it might be easier just to run it up through there so we can see it 
and then we'll push it back down again. There are arrows that will connect you, so be on the lookout for those. There's that. And then we have your connection for the factory battery out. All right, now we're just gonna make sure and pull all that slack out of there, get everything nice and tight so it fits well. Got our XT60s in. So now we're here. We have our extension cables plugged into the two adapter cables that are here. And then we're just gonna run right up here to the top. And then in his bag, he has the infamous 10 amp hour, 48 volt recommended battery. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a 40 amp dual battery discharge balancer and plug that into his cabling. We already know that one of them is set. So this is a battery input. And then we have controller out. And then we're gonna take the secondary battery and hook it up into the second input on the discharge balancer. And there we go. We should be live. Uh, what I'm gonna do is we've already tested the factory and so I'm gonna disconnect factory battery, which I know to be this one. Hold this in connection. And then I'm gonna turn on the bike. And I just hit the lever, and there it is. We see that it's on, and, it's, and it is just this battery. Um, we are good to go. I know that it is just this battery. We've got it hooked up here. We know the display's on. Only one battery hooked up in the cable set, and it is the secondary Hylong. We know that this connection is actually the factory battery. I'm gonna go ahead and make that now. And there we are, we are dual battery set. At this point, we know that he likes his battery set in his secondary bag, and that is good. And then we're gonna bring his discharge balancer over. His cables reach into a zipper hold. There it is. Rad Rover with a dual battery discharge balancer and a second 48 volt 10 amp hour battery. Awesome. So I'm setting up this bike for PAS 5. I just want to know all the power. It took a second. I had to figure out how to turn on the lights. I hadn't been on a Rad in a minute. It is the mode and up arrow at the same time for a few seconds. And then you'll see the display uh, backlight come on and then the headlight will come on right at the same time uh, I didn't make any adjustments to Adam's setup. I think uh, We are the same height or he's just a little bit shorter than me, but there's no uh, No need. I'm really testing out the power of the bike making sure that it has higher po high not higher power But the power that we want for a fully charged e-bike I'm about 250 pounds. And that is a Rad Rover 5. I'll take it. I'll take it all day. Pretty unbelievable. <laughs> Very unbelievable. This seems to be working, running it down. 
Thank you very much, Adam, for letting us do this to your bike. I know it took a lot of trust for you to reach out to us and allow us to do this. I really appreciate you letting us get a hold of your bike and run the demo test on this so that we can make the video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. We'll be putting out more videos for more brand bicycles. We're just kind of slow going, making sure we get it right. And we want to make sure that everybody is as happy as Captain Adam. And we will talk to you next time.